Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. One of the most commonly performed tasks in the legal profession is creating a legal black line document. When you create a legal black line document, which is also often called redlining or comparing documents, you examine two documents within Microsoft Word to show only the content that has changed between the two copies in a third separate document. Many legal professionals use this feature when reviewing contracts to note the revisions that have been made between two copies of a contract. This allows you to create and compare multiple copies of a legal document, noting changes between the original, the first draft, the second draft, and so on. This is beneficial because it allows you to keep all copies of the drafts for historical purposes, showing the changes that were made and who requested the changes. In this lesson, you will learn how to use the Compare feature of Microsoft Word to create a legal black line document. To begin, first open the two documents to compare within Microsoft Word. Then click the Compare button that appears within the Compare button group on the Review tab within the ribbon. From the drop-down menu that appears, select the Compare command to open the Compare Documents dialog box. Within the Compare Documents dialog box, select the name of the original document from the Original Document drop-down menu. Note that if you did not open the original document before you opened the Compare Documents dialog box, you can still select the document to use by clicking either the Open button that appears as a folder icon at the right end of the drop-down menu, or by selecting the Browse command from the drop-down menu's listing of document choices. Microsoft Word will then display the open dialog box, which you can use to browse for and then open the original document. Once you have selected the original document, then use the Revised Document drop-down to select the name of the revised copy of the document from the drop-down menu. Note that you can also use the Open button or the Browse command within the Revised Document drop-down just as you could use them with the original document drop-down if you did not open the revised document prior to opening the Compare Documents dialog box. Next, underneath the revised document drop-down, enter the name that you want to use to label changes within the resultant legal blackline document into the Label Changes with text box if needed. Note that this defaults to the username assigned to the copy of Microsoft Word, but you can change it when creating the legal blackline document if needed. You can then click the More button to display a listing of all of the options at the bottom of the dialog box that will be used when creating the legal blackline document. Note that any changes that you make here will be saved as the new default settings when creating a legal blackline document in the future. By default, Word will show the changes made at a Word level within a new document. These are the recommended settings, however note that you have the flexibility to change them if needed. After reviewing the settings, click the Less button to set the options and hide them once again. At this point, simply click the OK button within the Compare Documents dialog box to compare the documents and then create the resultant legal blackline document within Microsoft Word. The original document and the revised document will be displayed on the right side of the screen. The compared document will be displayed in the center of the screen. Any revisions will be displayed in the revisions pane at the left side of the window. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.